maybe, maybe if I, no, that wouldn't work. Think, goddammit, think. Oh, <laughs> hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back, one and all, to Let's Play Scratches, the Director's Cut Edition. It's been quite a while since we've laid hands upon this game, hasn't it? Well, now we are back. And the situation has not changed in the slightest, only that it is a few hours later and I am still trying to figure out how to get into the secret room of Blackwood Manor. I'm gonna recap everything we found out at a later point in time, but for now, this room is our number one priority. Why would the Blackwoods have a room inside their manor and then just brick it up and try to forget about it? That's what I presume. Considering everything we've found out so far, the murder among other things, I'm really not that surprised to find out that there is a hidden room. But what could be inside? Maybe evidence? And more importantly even, how do I get inside? Hmm. Those sentences of Michael are just the same. They are not going to help. The storm is still raging outside. I thought this would be another long day, but here I am, standing about for hours. I need a proper tool for the job, but the only thing I have is the hammer. But it has already proven to be not enough. A pickaxe would be nice, but my only lead where a pickaxe could be is of course the garage. And Michael doesn't want to step into the outside world while it is pouring down. Let me look at my inventory for a second. Let's see if there's anything we can try to use to break down this wall. This is all useless. The boring tool will certainly not help. Neither the kitchen knife. Hmm hmm. What was this key for again? I'm forgetting what all of these keys unlock. The rusty golden key was quite heavy. Is this the key for the front door? No, that would be this one. Hmm. I think this could be the key for the basement, to be honest. Let's see, a rack, lamp, blah 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 blah. We did find a silver key, but it was for... Hmm, good question. To be honest, I don't think we found the use for that one key yet. Was it this one? A generic looking key, blue in color. One of these two is for the room we've unlocked upstairs, but the other one... It was on a table in the gallery painting room. Yeah, I'm just gonna call that room a gallery as well. After all, there were plenty of pictures. I know, isn't this so very exciting for the new year? Just staring at the inventory, but hey, that's what you can expect from me. Now... Hmm. What's this again? I think a can lit. That's not gonna be of help. Some oil, not gonna be of much use either. And the rope. Hmm. To be honest, I'm kinda... <sighs> kinda... Hmm. Kinda... Stumbling about through the dark again. Just like last night. I have no idea how to get in here. There's no way to tear down that wall. Is there nothing I can do? Hmm, think. Think, think, think. You have no tools. Are there any other ways to get into this room? Let's see. <sighs> this is certainly a great situation for the new year of 2012. For this was my first video of the new year. Hmm. And I've been here for several hours. I'm wasting this day. Even though it is raining, sure. But... But I know that Jerry will eventually come for me. He said he would arrive when the rain calms down. But I cannot abandon this place now. I have to get into this room. I mean, who else is gonna take over if I am gone? Nobody. And if somebody takes over, then they will maybe not have the same motivation or goals. I just want to uncover the truth. Let's see. If the front entrance is not an option, how else could one enter this room? You know? I've been having a very obscure idea. 
very, very obscure, just there in the corner of my brain. The thing is, it would not just be an idea, it would rather be a suicidal act. I immediately had this thought, but I pushed it aside because I didn't want to go through with it, but now... I have to check something out, and in order to do that, we have to go back into the maid's room. Now you might be wondering, the shadow cookie, what do you want in the maid's room? You've been in there already, you've picked everything up, there's nothing left. That is where you are wrong, for I do not want to pick something up, but I want to take a look at something. Also, I have to admit, before I was all like, the rain is giving the manor a more peaceful atmosphere, taking my worries away. Now it feels a little bit freaky again. Well, just try to ignore it. And maybe you will be able to digest what happened last night. If I just talk myself into that it was all an illusion, then I might be able to get over it. Those bumps and scratches in the night. No, 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 don't think about it. In any case, here we are. We've reached the maid's room. However, this is not yet our final destination. We want to be inside the improvised dark chamber. You might already know what I am after. And there they are, right in front of us, the pictures. They show the manor from the outside. And I am interested in one of them in particular. Let's have a look and see if my theory is correct. So, this is the Blackwood Manor from the front. There's the main entrance. And up there we have the huge window of the guest room. Our room, now. Hmm. Down there is the corridor. <sighs> this picture is not being as helpful as I thought it could be. I am not seeing what I want to see. Damn it. What I want is on this side of the manor. Hmm. I think by now all of you have figured out what I am planning to do, and I don't want to keep those without knowledge and suspense any longer. Maybe the secret room above us has a window. What does that mean? Well, we have a rope, remember? And the tower... The tower is pretty much above the secret room. Yes, indeed. You know what I am planning to do, right? I can't believe it myself, but it might be the only escape out of this seemingly dead-end-like situation. Seriously, though, hearing strange noises in the night is one thing. It is not normal, can be, not so much in this case, but the noises are still not hurting me. Descending from a roof of a tall building on a rainy day? That is a different story. This is a story where I actually have to fear for my life. If only Michael wasn't such a pansy. The problem is, I don't even know if there is a window leading into the secret room. It's raining, true, but Michael, what do you prefer? Getting wet for a few seconds to check out if there is a window? So this plan won't be for naught? Or do you just want to risk your neck, hoping for the best, being unaware of anything? <sighs> I can imagine what your choice is going to be. Well then, before I go through with this suicidal plan, I will head upstairs to the, <coughs> not attic, but tower, to check out if I can see a window from there. Oh, Michael. This is not a good plan. It might be the only way to continue the adventure, but still, this is not going to end well. The most amazing thing about the situation is how calm I am. I am about to freaking climb onto a roof and descend via a rope, if it works. And yet I'm just like, oh yes, whatever. <sighs> Let us peek out of this window. Can I see something? 
Oh my, it's dark and raining so much, but the secret room is definitely down there, into this very direction beneath that roof. Hmm, but I can't see a window. As long as I'm inside of the manor, I don't have to worry. I can just talk about suicidal things. Also, something that is very lovely is that it is currently raining here in the real world as well. <laughs> It kind of enhances the mood, and oh dear, this window is helping even less. Nothing but the dark sky and the huge intimidating forest, so very thick, so many trees. Explore us! No thank you, not today. Well, that only leaves us with the first window, and now our plan has to commence. The question is, do I really want to? I mean, I might have to climb out of this window just to see if there is another one below me. <sighs> Why? Just how did it come to this? I haven't been in Blackwood Manor all that long and yet here I am thinking about something like this. Something that could kill me. If I want to do it then I have to think about something else. Where should I attach the rope? so that I don't just slip out and into my certain death. I do think that this tower is tall enough to break all my bones should I fall out of it. <sighs> Somewhere. There's nothing down here. Nothing where I can attach it to, damn it. How about up here? Hmm. These couple of lamps attracted my curiosity the first time I saw them. But that is the problem. Yes, I could attach the rope to them, but they are old and rusty. How stable are they? And how intact is the wall? If I put my weight onto the rope, will it just rip the lamp right out of the wall? Through the window? And will it follow me into my doom? This... This is just not safe enough. I need to come up with something else, but what? Do I really want to descend out of a window from a tall building just for the sake of Blackwood Manor and its mysteries? I should just try to attach the rope to a lamp and see what Michael has to say to it. I think I'm a little bit screwed right now without his thoughts. Well then. <laughs> this is so this is so insane. But I will try my very best. It was too risky. The rusty metal frame would have torn the rope if I threw it out of the window. <sighs> Damn it, this is not an option. How about the other one? Can I at least attach it to the lamp? Aha! It works! There we go, ladies and gents. We have combined the lamp with the rope. However, I feel like this is still not secure enough. What does Michael have to say to it? Hmm. Nope, still too risky. The rusty metal frame would just tear the rope apart. I need more support. Hmm, you know? This crack. I've been interested in it ever since I saw it the first time. Even more curious about it than the lamps. How thick is this crack? I have an idea. The question is, will the game allow my sense of logic? A large crack indeed. Can I maybe crack it open even more? If yes, then I can only imagine one tool for the job. Our trusty hammer. Now then, this is my building. I am allowed to break it down. Aha. I can't believe that actually worked. <laughs> What did we accomplish though? There's light pouring through. Is this wall really that thin and deteriorated already? Huh. The wall had a wider crack now. Hmm. Now if only we can put this rope inside the crack. Bingo. I don't exactly know where the other end of the rope is now, where it is hanging down. And also, the rope could still be torn by the rusty frame of the lamp. But if the lamp is ripped out of the wall, 
it will not be able to just follow me down. <laughs> it will instead be stuck here, in front of the crack, and still support my weight. Looks like our preparations have been made. <laughs> but that was the simple part about it all. The rope was hanging from the hole in the wall. Very lovely. Now I just need to find the other end again. <laughs> and yeah, it's totally pointless to look out of this window. We need to be a little bit lower. There. This should work now. <laughs> Careful. Where is it? Is it even here? Up there, in the corner. There it is. The tiny end of the rope. I don't know if you can see it, but it is there. <sighs> oh my god. And with that, we have reached a point where things get interesting. I mean, let's think about the situation one more time. Below us is a hidden room. Very special and tempting. There could be lots of stuff inside, maybe some evidence, maybe something that could prove or show that or why James Blackwood killed his wife, maybe even something related to the doctor, why he went insane, where these weird noises came from he heard. But at what costs? If I screw this up, I'm going to die. Then again? I really want to know what happened in the past of this manor. Well, Michael, we've come this far. But without your bravery and courage, we cannot continue. Is this worth it? I don't know. But there's the rope. <laughs> How very inviting. The dark descent right in front of me. Are you ready, Mr. Arthate? Have you thought about this? Why don't you finally tell me your thoughts? I carefully pondered the situation and thought about what I was about to do. <laughs> well, it's good to know, Michael, that I am not the only one feeling afraid. I mean, of course we could just forget about this and look for a different solution. A different path, because there's always a different path. <sighs> we could just wait until tomorrow to unlock the shack, if that key fits in there, and see if we can find a pickaxe to break down the wall. But I'm guessing neither you or me, <laughs> for that matter, are gonna be that patient. Still though, why am I so obsessed with this very room? Or um, exploring the mansion, for that matter? <laughs> I'm about to risk my life for it. I think... I think I'm getting myself way too much into the atmosphere of this game. Well, Michael, what do you have to say about it? Why was I obsessed with that room? Or whatever occurred inside this house for that matter? I felt a strange urge to go there, even though I was about to risk my life. What the hell? It's like this game knows what I am thinking, or it's like I am becoming more and more like Michael. My thoughts exactly. Well, Mr. Arthate, I am going to pray. You are going to pray. <sighs> no going back now. Let's do this. Take a deep breath. <sighs> I decided that climbing down through the window would be the only way to get into the mysterious room, and resolved to do it. <sighs> Holy shit! Come on, Michael. You can do this. Ah, ah, don't slip. Careful, careful. Don't you dare slip. There's a window, there's a window. Be 
calm and slow about it. Yes, that's right. Don't be too hasty. There. Open the damn window. Push it open. Come on. You're almost there. There we go. Get the fuck inside. <sighs> With the last of my strength, I managed to climb inside the mystery room. And mysterious it was indeed. The mystery room, it is a nursery from all the places I had in mind. I would never have imagined to stumble upon something like this. But the Blackwoods didn't have a child, or did they? Ladies and gentlemen, when we'll come back with scratches, we will try to examine this turn of events. Until then, one and all, until then.